this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create cylinders with domed ends. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Ok, start by removing the cube, so just press X on your keyboard then left click on delete. Now press 1 followed by 5 on your numbers pad to go into front orthographic view. Then hold down shift followed by A next to mesh left click on UV sphere. Now I'm just going to use the standard settings uh, in this instance so just bear in mind that depending on the kind of uh, smoothness of the dome top that you're going to create you may want to change some of these in fact the very last option I will change the ring setting but for now I'm going to just leave this as it is. Okay. So I'm going to roll my middle mouse and zoom in a bit and then press tab on the keyboard to go into edit mode then press A to deselect everything then Z to go into wireframe mode now if you place your pointer just below the red X axis line and to the left of the sphere and then press B hold down your left mouse button and drag your mouse to draw a box select around these vertices here then press X on your keyboard and then left click on vertices to delete them and again do a box select around the very bottom of the cylinder by pressing B and then dragging your mouse to select the very bottom roll your mouse if need be to zoom out and then with your pointer over the blue arrow hit E on your keyboard and drag the vertices down by extruding them. Now if you get this if this happens and you're not locked into the blue Z axis just hit Z and that will lock you in. And then once you've decided on the length of your um, doomed cylinder left click and finally to fill the end just press F on your keyboard Now if you're not happy with the size of your cylinder just left click on the blue arrow and you can move your mouse to do this. Ok well that's one option. I'm going to just backtrack a bit so I'm going to control Z until I'm back to this situation here where I've got these um, vertices selected. Now if I wanted to sort of have an inset dome all I would do is press E then S and move my mouse so that I've extruded the vertices outwards and when I'm happy with the kind of extrusion I'm looking for I'll just left click roll your middle mouse again and again point over the blue arrow press E drag it down if it doesn't lock press Z to lock it in place left click and again press F to fill then you can do this. And that's the first two options. Okay. I'm going to press tab and uh, then X to remove though this the, this last little cylinder I've created. Then hold down shift followed by A and next to mesh go into UV cylinder again. I've left this in wireframe view so you can see what I'm sort of going to point out now. At present we've got a line or a series of lines going through the X axis. So in the ring section just take it up one. Now this will mean that you've got a series of lines either side of the X axis and again once you've done that press tab on your keyboard to go into um, edit mode A to deselect everything and this time place your pointer so that it's all in line with the red axis line and again B hold down your left mouse button and do a box select around the bottom sort of series of 
vertices says, roll your middle mouse, and then with your pointer over the blue arrow, hold down your left mouse button, and just drag your cylinder, or your double-ended cylinder, down. And you'll end up with something that looks like this. And that's basically all there is to it. I won't go into any details on rendering or that, it just makes these videos longer. Hopefully this helps somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.